This alarm has been going off for half an hour. Don't you know, babes, I've got a Luma Creator open. I've been rude. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ness and I like to talk about books. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the September Illumicrate box. I just want to say that I've got some new content coming next week. It's been a while since I've uploaded. I think it's been about two or three weeks but life happened and then happened again and then kept happening and I am tired. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to sit down tomorrow and film some reading reviews, some vlogs and I hope that you'll stick around for some more content. I also just want to get this point out of the way now. This box contains a book by an author who has said some very stupid and done some very stupid things in the past. But my videos are a commentary on how Illumicrate perform every month um, and about the items and the box and the quality that they produce and I think it's unfair to drag the founder of Illumicrate, who is a woman of a minority in the UK, into that discussion. So, would I buy this book? No. Do I care if you buy the book? No. But, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it in this video. I have been waiting for so long for one of my neighbour's alarms to stop. It has been going off for half an hour. It just stopped. So, I want to get this box open because I cannot wait any longer. I've also got a bit of a cold. So, a voice is a bit funny, more funnier than usual. Also, this box feels very light. If this was missing the book, it wouldn't surprise me because of how light this box is. Like, this is the lightest box I've ever had. But, we'll see what's inside. The theme for this one is to the bitter end. I actually really like the art in this. I'm not going to open the spoiler card. I'm very excited for the big item. If you know me at all, you'll know why. So let's just see what is in this box. Actually, does this have the... <gasps> what is this? Oh my God, what is this? Wait. Wow, what is this? This is absolutely stunning artwork. What is this from? There's like a dra... Hold up. <laughs> this is stunning. I need to know what this is from. Okay, so this is based on Throne of Glass. This is the Throne of Glass item. I'm super surprised. I didn't think it would look like this. So this is the character art of Manon um, and her dragon. Wyvern. Wyvern. I've already been cancelled once on this channel for saying that she had a dragon. It's a Wyvern. I love it. I simply love it. The art. Stunning. Stunning. I think this is going to be my new makeup bag. I love it so much. This is one of the nicest items I've ever had and I think it meets the whole like vampire red theme so well. Oh, fantastic start. Okay, so next item. Oh, this is lovely. So I think this must be based on these Violent Delights and this is absolutely beautiful. So this is a pin set um, and it's like two flower pins connected by this little chain. It's really pretty and it says that it's an Illumicrate exclusive by November and May. Really like this. Was not expecting this interpretation of the theme for these books. If I'm quite honest, when I saw like To the Bitter End and saw the art, I did wonder where the fandoms were, how they were going to play into the theme. But I think so far they're doing the theme incredibly well. So next is a pouch. This kind of feels like cutlery. Okay, I think this is the Percy Jackson item, which they said was the biggest item, which I'm a bit confused. So this is a sword replica of Riptide. I mean, it's very well made and very nice, but this just kind of wasn't what I was expecting for the Percy Jackson item. Do I love it? Yeah! Would I say that it's the biggest item in the box? No! But... Now I need a Percy Jackson shelf and I need more Percy Jackson items to decorate the shelf. Yeah, I mean, I would rate this maybe like a 6 out of 10. Not what I was expecting, if I'm honest. But it's nice to have some Percy Jackson stuff. Holy, I feel so powerful right now. This could hurt someone. Okay, okay. A bit strange. Still digesting it, if I'm honest. 
So next we have some more magnets. Don't use the magnets and I'm not sure what these are from, but the artwork is very, oh my God, wait. Babes, it's an ember and ashes, my favorite. Oh my goodness, it's my favorite. Okay, I need to put something magnetic in this room. So these depict like the three main characters who I love. This box, Percy Jackson item, an ember and ashes item. My two like favorite series of all time. I just kind of wish the items were a little bit better, but I'm not complaining. I think Illumicrate's fandom choice this month has been magnificent. Um, and we have one more. This is a book I have, but I haven't read. These are Illumicrate and Blissful Bookish, Stranger the Dreamer exclusive design. What do these? Oh, I know what these are. These are um, shoelace things that you put on your shoes. They are like a really cute design, but I just don't think that I would use them. Not really like a trainer's person per se. So what you do is you kind of like put these, you take your laces out and then you put these like at the bottom of the shoe and then like put the laces through here and then start weaving your laces up that way. Shoe charms is how they're described in the spoiler card. So that is all of the items. Um, I can see why this box felt very light. My favourite item is actually the Throne of Glass item which I'm very surprised by. I did not expect that. The Percy Jackson item I'm sure will look really great on my future Percy Jackson shelf but I kind of wish it came off a stand so that it could actually like stand up and display that way but I'm, I'm happy with this box I'm actually, yeah yeah I'm happy with this box I mean the book alone we know that the resale value of this upcoming book is going to be horrendous it's going to be like another Kingdom of the Wicked for fairy loot so I don't know I mean they kind of need they didn't need to put a lot into this box really did they? Oh. So anyway, getting on to the monthly pin, I don't think I need to um, hide what this book is going to be, but I will do it anyway. So the monthly pin, as always, is absolutely gorgeous. The Illumicrate pins are actually my favourite pins of all time. I didn't even like pins before Illumicrate started coming, but now I actually have a great appreciation for them. I just have nowhere to use them. So this is the monthly pin. As always, I don't think I'm going to get a great picture here of the pin. It's beautiful though and it says may the dark know your name and despair. Definitely up there with the May pin for me which was the temple for um, the Jasmine Throne. Yeah one of their best pins in my opinion. So this book isn't in a yellow bag. The yellow bags were supposed to be coming back but for some reason this one isn't in it. But thanks to my terrible eyesight I still haven't actually seen what the book looks like. So I'm just going to grab it now and we'll just have a look together. There's been a lot of speculation about what this book is going to look like. Is it going to be yellow because there was a Jay Kristoff thing on his Instagram where he maybe had the book in his on his bookshelf. This book comes in many different forms. So we've got the mass market hardback which is very nice, it's a very nice design, both the US and the UK, but then Goldsboro and the Forbidden Planet also have exclusive editions which are quite different and very nice. J. Christoph has said this is his favourite edition of this book, I'm expecting a lot. So obviously the book is The Empire of the Vampire, still not had a good look yet because I can't see in the viewfinder because I'm a little bit blind. Oh my, I've just seen the edges. Wow, you know I, I wouldn't have bought this book but this is a wow moment. I can see why they've packaged this in the bubble wrap actually because I think they know this book is going to be um, highly desirable and worth a lot of money essentially. Wow, this is Empire of the Vampire Illumicrate Edition. It is white with gold on which is a bit different to the Goldsboro Brook, which is grey and purple. I didn't like that edition. The Forbidden Planet edition is black with blue. I didn't like that edition. I really like the Waterstones edition, but when me and my friend Rebecca from Rebecca Reads were speculating what this book was going to be, I said that I really wanted white and gold, maybe a bit of red incorporated. And this is kind of like what I was imagining and it's beautiful. This is actually in fact the book that Jay Kristoff 
put on his Instagram, but on his Instagram it looks bright yellow. It looks like a baby sick yellow. Actually, this is gold and it's like speckled. It's absolutely stunning. And oh my god, just wait until I show you the best part. This book, I just know the internet is going to go wild for this book. These are going to be like so expensive on eBay. Yes, it has, um, how is it? It's like printed edges. We've got kind of like this castle design with bats and it just... Once I'm finished with this book, I think I'm just going to put this back in the bubble wrap and put this in a drawer and call it a day because just holding this book just feels like I'm terrified of damaging it. I can see why this is his favourite edition. <clears throat> so this is also signed by the author, of course. It would be an Illuma crate if it wasn't signed by the author. It's come in absolutely perfect condition. <laughs> wow, the naked cover is beautiful. So this is the naked hardback. I don't know if this is going to be picking it up, but this is the Voss house crest i think this is different to the mass market i think the mass market has the leon um house on it i'm not sure if this is the same as the forbidden planet one actually or if this is its own unique only way to get that crest on it because i think there is five and on the back it does say all shall kneel this is one of the most beautiful editions illumi create has ever done there is absolutely no way that i'm going to be reading this edition I couldn't possibly read this edition. This is, I mean, it has like tiny little bit, tiny, tiny little dents here, which I'm sure are from production. This is a collector's piece. This isn't something that you sit and read, if I'm honest. I mean, this is just, there is actually nothing on the underside, just to clear that up. It doesn't, it doesn't need anything on the underside, if I'm honest. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, I'm so scared of damaging it, trying to put the cover back on. Empire of the Vampire. It's not a book that I planned on buying, as I said at the start. So I don't know too much about it. And I'm very scared of damaging it, so I don't want to start like flicking through it. But essentially, what I understand of this book is that um, this is set in a world where um, people are like dedicated to the church and things. And then there's like an endless night where there's like 30 years of night and vampires take over and they're building their empire. And the main character of the story is not a vampire. He is like part of the church and he's been imprisoned by vampires and he's starting to tell his story of what's happened. It is an adult book. I believe it's got some very questionable adult scenes in, which would not be suitable for younger readers. I think at this point, if you want to know more about the book, you will act you will know more about this book because there's been so much hype about it. I don't need to tell you more about it. I'm just ah, I just can't hold it in my grubby hands anymore. So now I have the problem of I don't want to sell it because I know that I have a book that's highly desirable and I love the cover and like I feel mesmerised by this cover but I also have a book that I can't read because I'm scared of damaging it. What do I do with it? Anyway, there was a bit that I forgot to talk about and it is the, um, the author card which has very little on it if I'm honest. Usually authors write plenty for a Luma crate, not that I've ever sat and read them, which I probably should, but the actual art is lovely. Whoever's done this has done a fantastic job at it. So just to recap this box, absolutely one of the best boxes that a Luma crate has ever done, in my opinion. The book alone is going to be a highly desirable book. In my opinion, this is the best edition of Empire of the Vampire. I can imagine if you are a huge fan of Jay Kristoff and his works, this is going to be like the holy grail of your book collection. Obviously, I don't feel that way about the book itself, but from an art perspective of what Illumicrate's done with the book and the customization, and being a lover and a collector of Illumicrate and Fairy Loop books, I love this book. I really do. The designer has done a fantastic job, in my opinion, but this is going to just be put back in the box for me, probably put on top of my shelves until I can decide what I want to do with it because I'm not displaying it. The items, in my opinion, didn't need to be all there, given the book. 
but they've actually still done an incredible job. We have the Percy Jackson decorative sword. In my opinion, I just want a stand, but I'm sure I can take a stand from somewhere else. Um, I love this beautiful, functional, love it. We have those, which I'm not too keen on, but I think some people would really rock them. And then we have two pins because we've got the book of the got the pin of the book, and we've got these beautiful pins, which would look very very cute. Like, hear me out. If you're going to work and you've got like a white or a cream coloured blouse on, if you stick these like at the top, maybe they would look quite cute. Probably the only pin I've ever seen which would be functional for everyday wear, which would enhance an adult's outfit. And those which are magnets, which I probably won't use, but I appreciate that they are an ember and ashes. Fandom choices, fabulous, Illumicrate, outdone themselves. I am going to go and take a cold shower now because I'm too hyped, too excited. Next month's box is October, which is Revenge is Sweeter. This box has a book in that I've been very excited for. It will feature a book organiser inspired by the Song of Achilles. Very nice. Other items inspired by Kingdom of the Wicked, Witches Steeped in Gold, Black Sun and Ka <coughs> Ka Caral. And it will also contain the next Rosie Fawns mug, which I'm thinking will be Kingdom of the Wicked. Let me know in the comments what you think. But thank you for watching today and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!